Oh, I love my haters. I, I love them. I never truly felt like Singapore knew who I was. Yes. Uh, it was more like the young, very young crowd. If you ask, I always feel like I am not famous until I eat at a hawker store and the uncle asked me to take a photo with his food and put it on the wall oh, next to people okay. like Fiona Xie yeah, or like yeah. Zoe Tay, right? Got or it. even like Lee Hsien Long, I'm right? I'm sure so, people now do that. No, right? no, actually they still don't really, but Maybe sometimes, sometimes, you, yeah. Well. Then at what point do you decided to make this a career? I met this dude uh, called Trodrick, he's my good friend now. Yeah. So he is a really entrepreneurial sort of person mm. and um, he started a t-shirt design brand. He just, uh, he, he found my blog and then he was like, can I advertise with you and uh, I'll so-called like be my brand ambassador and um, I'll let you wear my t-shirts. Uh, you have to wear it like four times in a month. He said, wear it on your blog and I'll give you $300. A month. Okay. Yeah. Three t-shirts and you get to earn some money. Three hundred dollars. I was like, what? So much money. Yeah. <laughs> Three t-shirts, of course. And yes. I post pictures anyway, yeah. every day. So I have to be wearing something. Yeah. So uh, instead of repeating, oh my God, I might as well wear his t-shirts. Yeah. Pretty cute designs. He said, why are you... Because I was a very poor student at that time. So I would just do very cheapo things all the time, you know? So like... <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> like for example, go into the MRT and go very close to the person in front of me. So that I can save on the MRT. <laughs> Like, I'll do that, yeah. It's no wonder people say you're brave. <laughs> I said, why are you still trying to pay for it? Because I like colourful hair and stuff, yes. right? Why are you still paying for your hair and your nails? He said, like, people will be so happy to sponsor it for you. And if they don't want to, they are idiots. Yeah. He said that. So, he told me, go, I said, how am I supposed to use a brave pie say? Excuse me, you want to sponsor? Brave pie say means, uh, what, so thick skin. So yeah, it's so thick skin, right? Yeah. I cannot be so unabashed, go and like tell business owners, hey, do you want to give me free nails? Then they'll be like, who are you? Yeah. What is a f blogger? Never heard of such a thing, yeah. right? Exactly. Make a portfolio for yourself, put in all these newspaper articles that are written about you, and provide all your stats, you know, and tell them how many views you have and everything. Mm. So they will see all this and they can decide for themselves. Anyway, yeah, exactly. it's very cheap for them. Right. What, what is it to them, you know? It, um, if you are giving you a few free nails, it's right. not that expensive. Not like you what I'm very curious about is, what do you think, you've done this, what, 15, 16 years already. There must be something you did right. What do you think that is? I think I was very lucky I started very early because uh, that firstly, there wasn't any competition. Yeah. Um, it was very, the, the barrier of entry so low. You know, nowadays, you want to be an influencer, you have to look so good, you have to this and that. So there's so many people to compete with yeah. you and it's so saturated. Yeah. And then subsequently, I think it is coming, uh, being consistent and never really kind of giving up on that. Um, consistent about what? Consistent about keeping up with uh, giving content. But you see, that's the thing. You are very on point, right, when it comes to content. You are? Ah, really? You even come out the controversial post that you did on IG where you make do a makeup like Rosma, right? Yeah. That was very controversial, but that tweeted a conversation. So I'm just curious, how do you how do you do it? How do you know what to post? How do you I, know that this one should work, this one won't work? No la, I don't ma. Because on Instagram I also post things, but sometimes they don't work. Now you're really good with YouTube and Instagram. Like, some quick uh, tips. You know, people are taking quick notes. Tips, uh. Quick tips Quick tips People do giveaways that will work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like all these things because it just feels very like insulting my like pure thing, you know? Like, <laughs> again, so I know already. I know. Your, the, the ultimate uh, tip for you is irritating. just create good content that is authentic to you. But it will no longer about. work in this era. Or being consistent with your content. Yeah. Take good photos, good quality, good lighting, and make it make your feed consistent. Things with a very, uh, very niche kind of vibe to it. It's very Helpful. easy to get popular. So, for example, if you do makeup, it's all purely makeup. Don't suddenly go and post your dog. Yeah, I feel yeah. that it's um, uh, how I look at it. Right, mm. is be smart about it. Play by the rules, but always put your signature on it. Just post based on what you like, because. When you're passionate about it, it's more sustainable. You'll post more often anyway, Correct. right? And then when you throw everything out there, you see what sticks up. You live for your haters. Yes. Well, I mean, at the Very end fun. of at the end of the day, I think that like these haters, right, are yeah. really just losers. Don't need to bother about them. And I think, you know, it's you need to understand that without uh, love, then like if if you have love, there will be hate. So you want people to like you, there will be you want to be popular, there will be people who hate you. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's Xia Xue for you. And uh, if there's one thing I learned throughout this entire interview, it's about passion to the craft 
and being authentic to your values. And then when you put yourself out there with these two traits, the right followers will come to you and they'll celebrate who you are. Ah, good summary, good yeah, summary. Yeah, <laughs> I, really, I really learned something. I'm going to take notes later. <laughs>